हाय वेलकम टू द पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट कन्वर्सेशन ऑन यूनिट थ्री थिंकर्स ऑन एजुकेशन इन दिस यूनिट वी विल एक्सप्लोर द व्यू पॉइंट्स ऑफ इंडियन थिंकर्स ऑन एजुकेशन अगेंस्ट द बैकड्रॉप ऑफ the growing discontent with western education in india there is an impending need to understand how indian thinkers have conceptualized the education system particularly in terms of its nature extent and scope they represent indigenous thought with which both students and educators are able to relate the purpose here is to look for viable alternatives that would play a transformative role in society and create a just and humane social order now let us start discussion on rabindranath tagore 1861 to 1941 Ravindranath Tagore was born in Kolkata to a deeply religious family of land owners His father Devendranath was a man of integrity spiritual acumen and strength of character He cast a deep impact on Ravindranath in the formative years of life like many other children of aristocratic families of that time the major part of ravindranath tagore childhood was spent in servants quarters under the care and authority of those who served his family his first lessons were from the bengali primer varna parichaya later he joined the oriental seminary then the normal school which followed the teaching learning pattern of english schools he sought admission to the bengali academy in order to gain a grounding in english he remained far from happy in school the rooms were dismissal in fact the entire building was unsuitable for hum- human habitation there were no pictures not a stroke of color nothing that would move motivate the students to attend the school naturally many of them played drunk those who did attend school regularly would remain filled with depression the grim monotonous unhappy experience in school compelled him to consolidate his ideas on meaningful education and revolutionized the whole process of education tagore was opposed to the western system of education that emphasized learning from books with the sole objective of developing the intellectual potential of the child he believed that the education should be aimed not merely to develop the intellectual but the complete personality of the child an education system should cultivate and nurture among children the ability to learn directly from the nature and life as such students should lead a simple self disciplined life based on the virtues of social liberty compassion and the spirit of brotherhood according to him 
moral and spiritual values constituted the most important aspect of education he criticized western education for treating the child as a receiver of packaged information in a way that did not awaken his or her own creativity and innate abilities the children in turn pick up bits and pieces out of the information thrust upon them and present themselves for examination of their ability to retain the information according to tagore it was not enough to pass on information what was important was the ability to put to use what one has learned and to develop curiosity and alertness of mind the child should be able to appreciate a sense of freedom acquired by the free movements of the body in the midst of the natural environment it may be understood at this stage itself that for tagore education stood for freedom from ignorance and from passion and prejudice he upheld it that the child learns the first lessons on freedom from nature which is the basic source of knowledge according to tagore the ideal school should be established in the midst of fields trees and plants under the open sky and far removed from human settlements this would keep the child away from the turmoils of daily life more importantly living in the forest was associated with austere pursuits and renunciation from on his idea tagore set out to develop an appropriate system of national education for india he founded the ashram school at shantiniketan in 1901 with emphasis on non duality in the domain of knowledge friendship for all fulfillment of one's duties without concern for the outcomes here education was combined with disciplining of the senses and one's own life in talking about education for life tagore did not ignore the significance of science teaching he did value inventions and discoveries in so far as they made life less burdensome what he condemned it however was the race for material prosperity at the cost of creative genuine and dignity he expressed the view that the current education system was not geared to inculcate the ability to think independently according to tagore teaching through a foreign language was both difficult and unrealistic he was opposed to borrowed knowledge that distanced pupils from their own social and cultural fabric he said that education which imparts knowledge but bears no relevance to life situation is of no avail he said that the curriculum should be developed by teachers and students together it should be based on their needs and requirements he laid stress on discussion as a mode of delivery of knowledge the books should serve as mere supplements to knowledge acquired through life situations and independent thinking learning should proceed from familiar situation to unfamiliar situations this meant that children 
should be made familiar with their own environment before exposing them to alien ones they should be encouraged to learn from and about the natural phenomena that they encounter in their daily lives salkal wrote that tagore was aware that children store in their brain the images of all that they observe this was more marked in the early period of childhood when curiosity is sharp he favored teaching of history and geography through field exposure by way of educational tours to specific places for learning and widening of horizons he wanted to set up a school based on his ideas for which he traveled far and wide tagore settled at shanti niketan where he founded the brahmacharya ashram with only five students the emphasis here was on a personalized relationship between teachers and pupils tagore himself taught english in the ashram school he would narrate stories from indian history in the evening to the children having prepared the ground for school education he diverted attention to higher education and establish vishwa bharati he believed that the basic task of education was to produce gather develop and disseminate knowledge to the younger generation in the vishwa bharati two autonomous institutions survive the kala bhavan the school of fine arts and sangeet bhavan the school of music and dance tagore is in no more but the ideals of education he laid down and the institutions he established keep him alive in the minds of the people here we want to wind up this conversation and thank you so much for choosing this podcast